Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to The Real Hero Show. Nick here with you, and in today's video, we are going to be diving into Doom Patrol Season 3. The first three episodes that got released last night, Thursday night, on HBO Max. Yes, the freaks are back uh, after what seems like forever, but uh, it's only been about a year. Um, and uh, glad to see them back. Uh, I really got into the show uh, the summer of 2020 and I uh, got to binge as much as possible uh, while I moved. So that was fun. Um, there will be spoilers. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to give a brief rundown um, uh, from each episode and then we'll talk about things uh, overall, I'll give a little bit of overall rating where I think the season is going. So um, the chief is dead. Uh, we see that um, the events from the end of season two, um, she, you know, Dorothy makes a deal with the candle maker to, to become friends, uh, but unfortunately her father is uh, no longer with us, RIP. And you know everyone in the Doom Patrol uh, has their own issues. Uh, you know Jane is still trapped in the underground, um, though she manages to, to escape. Um, and during that time frame, uh, you know, Dorothy uh, refuses to bury uh, her father's body uh, until she feels that um, Jane is able to have a proper goodbye. Uh, and she does. And at that point, that's when uh, Dorothy goes to the, you know, goes to bury him, um, which was funny because we, we get to see in a post credit scene uh, while Niles is in his little force ghost mode. Um, he gets invited to, uh, to be part of a threesome in, uh, in some ghost sex. Um, but right as, uh, his body is, um, uh, being decapitated as you know, grave robbers, um, he, he kind of vanishes and he doesn't get to join in that fun. Um, we see Cliff that has a problem we think it's his metal body. Um, but as uh, Vic runs a diagnostic on him, we see that it's not his metal body at all. It's his his noggin, his brain. So something's going on up there. And we see kind of what happens in the next two episodes as to why that is. Uh, you know, Vic, uh, he is still sort of um, infatuated with, with Ronnie. He wants to save her, wants to stop her, and, and just done it, and kind of uh, be there for her. Uh, and we see that he, he cares for her a lot. He likes her, possibly loves her, right? Uh, at some point, we'll maybe get that, that word from the two of them. Um, you know, Larry and, uh, the negative man, they get to go into space, um, you know, good for them to maybe find themselves or maybe Larry's doing something for, um, his other part. Uh, and then Rita gets entrusted by Niles with a, uh, special key, uh, to use, um, when necessary. Uh, we get that call or she gets that call uh, of, uh, imminent arrival and she doesn't heed the call. And of course, we see what that is, and uh, Madame Rogue appears, and kind of gives some karma to the girl that made fun of Rita in the play. Moving on to episode two, go back in time a little bit to uh, the Brotherhood of Evil, 1949. Kind of a funny scene at the beginning there, um, but we get the entrance of Gargoax the Decimator, ever vigilant, uh, who has a uh, mission and is he sent to kill Rita. And he gets to stay at the Catskills Resort and check in uh, on the daily. Gives uh, weekly reports, which turns you it turns into um, quite a long time. Uh, we get a, a guest appearance, uh, starred by Billy Boyd as the character Samuelson. Love Billy Boyd, a huge fan. Uh, and you know, in this episode, we see we you know see Cliff still having issues. Um, you know, and the Doom Patrol decides to go on a vacation. Where? at the Catskills Resort. So we kind of know where that's going, right? Uh, and I, the one thing I thought about at this point in the episode was, are they really going on vacation or is this more of a realization about themselves and who they are individually? Because as we see, uh, they have some issues, um, not just uh, with themselves, but with each other. Um, and, uh, you know, poor Gargoax, just, he, man's just trying to complete his mission and has to wait 70 years. Nice little uh, um, uh, spa uh, steam room session with Gargoax and Cliff there. Uh, and they, they befriend each other. And uh, after that, they have a little awkward dinner moment. Um, but they don't get in each other's faces. Although Vic seems like something's wrong and something should be done. And uh, you know, Gargoax calls the mission to a halt. Says, look, Samuelson, I'm done. I'm over this. 
we're not getting anything you know from from the brain it's over and i love this quote this line uh, where gargalax says uh missions are supposed to serve a purpose uh and there's a lot that we can really go into that um maybe not in this video but as maybe uh the season you know progresses uh we might see more of that um but it's a good line to kind of go off of um but they get a return signal they hear something from the boxes that are about to leave cut scene we see the doors open gargawax has run he's shot in the back by samuelson uh, where Samuelson proceeds to kill the entire team. While Rita is about to escape, we see Madame Rogue appear, transform into her, and then lock the door by shoving a sign through the handles, and, uh, you know, she's dead with the rest of her team. Q episode three. First thought, are they really dead? Um, or are they stuck in purgatory? More on that later. Uh, the funny thing, not so funny, but... Um, uh, Larry gets a you know four boxes, and of course we know that those four boxes are his dead mates. Um, smells bad, I'm sure it does. Um, it, the interesting thing about the in, inside this this purgatory um, are the the dead dreams and uh, their their personal journeys that they go on. Um, you know, Cliff he sees his dad, and what's the importance of that? Uh, his dad uh, was able to turn his own life around. Um, you know, and uh, kind of establish a relationship with uh, his granddaughter, Clara. Cliff obviously doesn't like that at first, but, you know, he sees that it, 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 uh, it serves a, a purpose, right? So, again, there's a purpose behind that. And, and realizing that, hey, if my dad can do it, and obviously we know that Cliff didn't really like his dad very much, then there's hope for him. Then he could do the same thing uh, with his daughter um, and grandchild. Right, uh, we see Vic. Vic sees his mom. It was a way to uh, reconnect, but also uh, a way to find closure um, about what happened. Uh, the fact that he, you know, continued to blame himself um, for everything, um, and that the the path in front of him, as as his mom states, that's your path, you know, and the path is his choice, you know. And he asks about uh, whether his father made him to be a weapon or not, and even then, you know that's a choice and uh, a purpose for, for Vic to decide upon. Is he to be a hero or is he to be a weapon for something else? So we'll see how that progresses in the season. Uh, more of a touching note uh, with, with Kay who gets to see her abuelita um, and Jane really learns about her name, how, how she got her name, the, the origins of it, um, uh, which was yeah, pretty sweet. And uh, we, we, we know that that's probably going to be the drive for Jane um, for the rest of the season. And, you know, in season one, we got, or sorry, episode one of the season, we got to see all the Janes, uh, you know, trying to push the plan so Jane could get get out of um, uh, out of the underground, right? And uh, so I'm, I'm really curious to see the uh, the growth of Jane and, and Kay um, for this season. Uh, Jane's one of my favorite characters because... Um, uh, she's hilarious um, and uh, has a pot uh, potty mouth, um, but at the same time, that kind of is up, up my eye for humor. Um, uh, Dorothy returns home, finds that Larry isn't doing well, uh, coping with his dead friends, and he doesn't have his uh, his buddy inside him. No negative man. He's uh, still up in space chilling, um, wherever he's from, right? Um, so they need help. They get help from the Dead Boy Agency, or sorry, the uh, Dead Boy's uh, Detective Agency. Uh, they decide to make contact with Rita. Um, you know, uh, we know that uh, and find out in this scene that they're in the Tunnel of Souls. So Edwin and Charles, the, um, the two boys that are uh, ghosts, um, <laughs> uh, knock uh, Larry uh, unconscious, and they go on a uh, spiritual spiritual journey uh or more so rescue mission um to get the doom patrol uh, out of the tunnels of souls uh and meanwhile crystal and dorothy uh, stay behind you know some dialogue conversations about the um uh the points of interest for uh, for cliff for for vic and for for jane to kind of to kind of pull them back in, uh, into the consciousness part of the tunnel of souls um while rita is still conscious um this entire time 
Uh, one of the things that I really liked, again, um, a line that we get from, uh, from uh, Abuelita is, take the pain and make something of it. And that's something that we can really do uh, in, in conjunction of our own lives. Uh, you know, if any of us have ever experienced any sort of pain uh, or trauma, it's something that we can, I'm sure uh, those of us who have experienced that have found, found a way to, to make something of it. And I think that's also going to be uh, a theme, uh, not just in this episode, uh, but for this season. So the Doom Patrol, they, they escape um, along with some, uh, some vomit from the, uh, from the uh, Lady of Death. Um, who looked pretty pretty cool, um, even though she got struck by a, a bat by one of the boys. Um, a funny line that I thought was uh, <laughs> well placed uh, was from Cliff, where he says, uh, "Who brought uh, judgy Harry Potter?" Uh, again, I think in these three episodes, Cliff had a lot of great lines. Um, you know, cursing up the yin yang, and um, and same with Jane too, of course. But uh, one of the things that um, I came into question was uh, there's a man in the tunnel of souls that uh, knew Rita uh, and Rita pretended that she didn't know him. Um, and he kind of had this weird looking face similar to how she looks when she starts to lose control and gets into her, you know, her blob form. So what's that mean? Who is he? Uh, you know, is he part of the comics? I'm not too sure since I'm not super familiar uh, with the Doom Patrol comics. Uh, like some people out there obviously are. Um, but I'm kind of curious to see where they're going to go with this uh, in this season um, with that person. Uh, maybe a little bit more of uh, backstory and growth and development with Rita. Uh, we know that Dorothy goes off um, with the detective agency uh, for some time. Uh, so that means she won't be with the Doom Patrol. So I'm not sure if we'll see her anymore this season, which might seem fitting because, you know, with the death of her father, um, even though she says that the, you know, the, the Doom Patrol has been her family. Um, but she's going to go chill, um, with Crystal, Edwin and Charles. So, uh, I'm not sure if we'll see more of them, but we'll watch for us to see them find out. Um, the preview of, uh, actually before we get into the preview of next episode, the one thing that happens at the end is Madam Rogue comes before the Doom Patrol and everyone's like, who are you? And I'm like, <laughs> she's a supervillain, um, not to be trifled with, but Maybe she helps the Doom Patrol. We'll find out. Uh, and I think the interesting part from the next episode, which I'm going to include in this, uh, is why do they turn into zombies? Is it the vomit that they're like, it's just vomit. And it's like, but it's actually turning you all into corpses and zombies and um, gross. So we'll see uh, as the next episode is called Zombie Patrol. Um you know, I would say altogether, I would probably give all three episodes about 8.2 out of 10. Um, you know, it, it started off weird uh, and it got even weirder and I loved it um, because this is a weird show that's not much like uh, any other sort of superhero show. Um, you know, we watch and review Titans on here too. And if you compare um, a show that's also on HBO Max like Titans to Doom Patrol, uh, I would say Doom Patrol is uh, better than Titans, especially since they're both in their third season. Um, Doom Patrol just, I think, hits on the money more so. Uh, I think, you know, uh, a lot of the acting is is a lot better. Uh, the character development is is uh, has been very good over the course of, um, you know, the, the first um, half or first part of this, this season three. Uh, and then the first and second season, obviously, too. So... Um, I'm really curious to see where this season goes. It looks like it's going to get super weird. Um, and uh, again, I, I think that this season is very promising for Doom Patrol. Um, you know, I, I, I think uh, the realization about who each person is individually will be the, like, the big theme. Um, you know, as Larry, um, you know, finds in that he needs... Uh, the negative man inside of him and uh, to uh, kind of live life like that um, you know what's it going to be like is he going to just understand that he might be in bandages for the rest of his life and he is okay you know he has to be okay with that maybe um, you know will Rita sort of live up to uh, Niles's expectations because that's the big thing through these three episodes the fact that Niles is gone has kind of left them in in this void right they they don't know they're 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 pissed that he's still dead 
you know, and they continue to kind of um, <laughs> talk smack about, uh, you know, how much he ruined their lives and it's all because of him. Um, but the man's just trying to help people and to make something better um, because of the things that he knows that exist um, uh, in this world or universe. Um, and that he believes that these individuals can do something about it to help it uh, and to help others, um, even though it's, you know, super weird. But um, so, again, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what uh, each character does for their own growth, their own development. Uh, I think the writing has been very good so far, and I think it'll continue uh, throughout the course of this season. Um, and I wonder at some point in time, will they just sort of get over Niles being dead? and and kind of uh move on from there so that's something we'll we'll hopefully see or will niles just somehow come back i'm kind of curious to see what the decapitating of his of his head um from the grave robbers means um you know if they're gonna you know abstract something from his brain or kind of create him into something else a monster a villain who knows but Stay tuned because we're going to be reviewing the entire season. And, um, you know, if you have any thoughts about these three episodes, go ahead and comment down below. What did you think? Did you thought they were great? Did you thought did you, did you think they were weird? Um, did you think that the lions were great between Cliff and Jane uh, and, and really everyone, honestly? Um, do you think now you should come back? Do you think he will come back? Do you think it's uh, going to be a good season overall? I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. And uh, again, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell on for all of our future notifications because we are covering a lot within these next three months and onward and onward and onward. Catch you uh, guys on the next video. Peace out.